and lots of shortcuts, shall we? We go left and defeat the necromancer and stuff up here, and then we can get the lift working. There she is. Ow. This goes up to where the uh, gun guy and like sickle guy are. I do believe uh, we can also roll off of this to get to a bunch of different extra places like part way up the lift. This is the main thing, we, we got this now. if there's some stuff we actually just still drop down and do the rest of it but we'll, we'll, we'll do the main way first oh we'll, we'll take this like teleporter bowl in a minute I don't know if we ever light up the other bowl that's in the game that you can step on that's near one of the one of the god things That'd be kind of interesting. Please be chunks. Yeah, cool. behind them and you prevent them from ever like turning around properly so useful do we take the, the teleport bowl now i think we do Get uh, another necromancer if we go this way. And we can get down to the main street that goes towards a boss by going down this ladder. I can't remember if there's any particularly exclusive loot down here. If there isn't, we'll just come back up and we'll go the other way. Now, it doesn't look like there's anything extra here by doing it this way. So not really necessary to go down that way. We'll take like the regular streets, pick up some more swag. that we didn't get like a back attack on him pretty brutal I like how we run past the uh, gun guy as well there can't believe I'd actually still enjoy even more even more stamina 
I'm sure the efficiency for stamina will come back when I start picking up damage. But at the moment, it's kind of good that I can just keep on stabbing at them and keep rolling, keep ducking, keep weaving. Pick up this while, uh, while we're looking like directly at it. Why not? It's it's right there. Uh, we won't go down and kill kill any of those guys just yet. I think mostly we're going to be heading back towards the starting building and opening up one more shortcut door before we head anywhere near the boss. You're not allowed to do a backstab if you gun parry him. Oh, that was so rough. Oh, well, we recovered a bit through that. I put on my other weapon with the two health regen on it that we uh, rigged up yesterday. It's going to be all right. Ugh, I built into the walls. Gross. Damn. Now I think we're heading sorta back to the main build. Trying not to get destroyed along the way. Is this guy behind me ever gonna give up? Hello there, game clock. How's it going? Oh god, there's two of them now. Eat. Just uh, running around the nightmare, having fun. Well, that's a nightmare. I don't know if it's the nightmare. <laughs> There's some specific places called the nightmare, I think. Right, so I'm safely back up here. This isn't quite where, where I wanted to go, but running away from the guys took priority, I think. This is where I want to go. Am I surprised as the, that there wasn't a patrol up and down this way? Hmm. Maybe this isn't where I think it is, or if the patrols are in the other version of this area where you get kidnapped from. Open door. Sure. Okay, so that's that door. Is that everywhere now? I think so. Okay, what was that? Nightmare Rituals. Oh, yeah. We read that already. Now where I think I was, was down there, but I wasn't. I'm going to have to get over to there. A little bit confusing. I've only kind of done one partial save of this game before. Let's see. That means I need to go down here and then turn right. Ah. Right, I think there's going to be some patrols up and down here. No. Okay. Well, that's fine too, not having to fight anyone. Oh, I think this is a guy that I killed upstairs and who's fallen off. I don't know if this is the other version of this level. There's some guys that used to, like, come out and grapple you. It's got to be the other version, because I've, I've been in here earlier. So interesting. I really wish I didn't accidentally skip the alternate version of this level. Oh well, I'm still learning the game. Hmm. 
we go down there? Textures look nice, but I don't think that's like a walkable bit of floor down there. Right, so we're going to clear that way, opposite way from the boss, and then we'll turn around and we'll clear back towards the boss afterwards. I'll probably go and spend souls somewhere between there. I should really do it now, but I'm a, I'm a little crazy. I was expecting killing them to take me a lot longer. Hello there, Sly. You'll never guess what happened to me yesterday. I found another level that I missed the first time I played the game. Again. I don't know how I keep on getting away with it, but yep. There was more game and I didn't spot it the first time round. We'll, uh, we'll go and look at there a little bit later on. Oh god, I forgot about this fella. Yeah. Whoa. Come on now. Ooh. Ow. Nope. He is too fast. He is too fast. He kind of he kind of rotates to wherever you've dodged to so quickly that like <laughs> dodging isn't helpful. Yeah, I uh, I can't just say this game's the only one guilty of hiding levels for me though, because the amount of times I turned back around in Dark Souls Three, I'm just like, damn, I missed a level. No wonder it's been so hard. Damn, I missed a love and level. No wonder this was so difficult. Do I have a nearer save than this now? I think I do. I think rather than go from here, we'll go from like the, the other save at the beginning of the level. I really want to get back though, because that's 40,000 souls. I could buy Ludwig's sword, get that again, that's nice. And uh, so many upgrades and things. So hopefully I won't fail. We want to be... Yargul Yar Unseen Village. Yeah. The other level is metal, though. There's, like, turbo werewolves with blue eyes. One of them breaks through the ceiling lights. Some other ones break down the chandeliers, and I can't, like... I, I'm telling you about them now, because I can't recreate it. They don't, like, appear back up the top, the chandeliers, and the glasses, and become unbroken. So those events are gone. It's so crazy. There's a there's an area that you clear, and there's no way the werewolf should be behind you, but it does. It breaks through from behind you, through the ceiling glass. It's, it's amazing. And then there's a bunch of those um, white face mask guys. But they're super high level. They're very tanky. A load of other weird things. I haven't even gone all the way through the level. Like, I did part of it, and then I came back to do part of this. Because I found the key to go there partway through this level, and then I used that key on the previous... Oh, it's just it's just madness. So, I want to operate this, go down, and then take a left. That should be good again. Yeah. I'm getting lots more worth out of my PlayStation 5. Because I kind of brought it and then I only like Demon Souls, which wasn't very good value for money. Enjoying playing this and enjoying it a bit more, it kind of kind of boosts the value of my purchase by, by a chunk. So we take out this guy. I should probably take out the Necromancer as well, so that he doesn't keep on respawning this gun guy around this corner. This one. Oh god, a bot? Damn! I'm doing so well. I do keep wondering if I want a PlayStation 5. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I can't recommend it. Unless Stellar Blade is also amazing. Then that's that, that'd be three games. And then if Shadow of the Colossus is any good, then that's four games. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have to think about this whether we got another value out of it. Oh, thanks for banning that guy. Wouldn't be surprised if the PlayStation Six is out by the time I decide. True, but you got to wonder about like how much backwards compatibility there'll be. Like if if it can no longer play PlayStation Four games, then the whole reason for getting it, Bloodborne, is out the window because there is no PlayStation Five edition of Bloodborne. So you need something that's compatible with the PlayStation Four. 
Let's go, let's go spend these before I do something silly. Like, 50k souls, come on. I really shouldn't have sent this away, but I didn't realize that those souls were going to be on the floor. I thought I was going to have to fight a guy. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely running at, like, between 15 and 30 frames a second, even on the PlayStation 5. For some reason, the PlayStation 5 doesn't seem to be making Bloodborne super crisp. Whereas, you play Demon Souls, and it's like a solid 60. I swear, Demon Souls remake runs way better at higher graphics than Bloodborne does. I, I feel like my eyes prove it to myself every single day. This is kind of bizarre. I think we just need PC releases for everything. You know. Sony should just suck it up and sell everything on PC, because they still make money. They still make a lot of money. Yes, people don't buy the consoles, but they still buy all the games. Right, we want, we want to, we want to buy Ludwig's sword. Yeah, PC port everything. Right. So first up, weapons. Wow, I got a lot more. What the heck? Uh, is there a, like a, a number held anywhere on this screen? Can we see what I already own? No. Thanks, Bloodborne. Um, we don't have Ludwig, so we'll buy that. For sure. I think the new ones must be the stake driver. We had a look at that. That was, that was good, but the description said, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna show your weakness by doing this one. The ton Tontorus? I think that was a lightning weapon, and I think we swung that around a bit, unless I'm mistaking it for something in, um, Lies of P. Lies of P was so good. I know they were trying to have PSN for PC at some point, I think. PlayStation Network, yeah. Like, I have to... I'm signed up for the, the PlayStation Network, like, my account for the PlayStation, when I play on PC and I'm playing... What was it called? The, the Samurai game from recently. Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, so I'm logged into the PlayStation Network on that. So I guess it, it kind of does work on PC. See what the description is. This is e scaling with with skill, so we're not gonna we're not gonna wear it. Uh, unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald, the famous eccentric to the Healing Church Workshop. Striking this peculiar weapon, peculiar Iron Morning Star flare like a match generates the same blue sparks that blank a dark beast. So we did find it. We found the Lightning Dog. He still exists, even though I didn't go to the other version of the level, which was nice. I thought we were missing out on him. Unfortunately, for reasons untold, the hunters of Archibald's time did not fully take to the, advi the device. Well, oh, their loss. I'm buying this. And we're going to pick up two more strongs so we can wield it. Pow. We are Ludwig people once again. Oh, wow, we just got another full set. Even though I only just recently brought one. I'll buy this one. I'm sitting around in town with way too much money and nothing to upgrade. Okay. Can I buy two strongs? Probably not with this amount of souls. Do I have any poppable souls? I do. Used to gain an unspeakable... Blood echoes. Yeah. So unspeakable. We're not going to even talk about those blood echoes. Oof five of these. We'll, we'll use all five. We're going to spend a lot of money. Damn, I'm rich. Welcome. What is it you... Very well. Let me... One, two. Okay, we're good. We're good for strongs. Wow, I only just had enough money. Farewell, good me. Level up's getting expensive. At least I can go out and farm. With a health build, whereas I couldn't before, and it was making me sad. So if we try and fortify weapons... Yeah, I got a lot of chunks now. I'm still in the situation where really, really, I should turn this to plus 9. Or plus 8, or, and upgrade it. Because this is the furthest along, and I'm kind of going backwards and undoing my potential max by going for the Ludwigs. But I, I kind of don't love the like, rifle spear all that much. At any rate, we'll do like the, the level, you know, 
up to six or whatever with this one. Use all the twin blood shards on it. Yeah. Ugh. Damn, this thing's got a lot of blood attack on it. I think you only get the blood attack damage when you use the gun part of the rifle spear and shoot it, though. I don't think you can just say during regular combat you add these two numbers together and that's how much damage you're doing. I don't think it works like that. I'm pretty sure the, the blood attack is part of the Quicksilver bullet section. So it looks like I might even be doing more damage with Ludwig's completely unenchanted and ungemmed. Even versus the rifle spear at two levels higher. What the hell, man? And I just like how Ludwig swings a lot more. Let's put some gems in this sucker. We'll uh, start off by taking out every gem off of this one. And I guess even every gem off of this one and just making Ludwig's the best it can be. Plus 18. Damn! Okay, the next one. Keep going, keep going. Oh, we can convert this one to fire. I'm not gonna, but we could have. Wow, this is the same amount of damage and you get HP regen on it. Oh, though, that also converts it to fire and it has HP regen on it. Okay. And these ones convert it to bolt damage. So it's quite late in the game that you can, like, turn your weapons into different elements and things. Curious. I think we're just gonna stick with plain old damage damage, though, for now. 160 plus 123. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the scaling, instead of being equal like it was at like plus zero, it's now become B strength and, and C skill. So, oof. I think I've just t accidentally turned my character into another the strength character again. It, it, it just happened. I'm sorry, everybody. And um, we'll, you know, we'll make our sidearm the best it can be. Uh, well, not our sidearm, that would be the gun, but, you know, our secondary weapon. We'll make that as good as it can be. stuff. So Ludwig is on the left, Rifle Spear on the right, and probably pop more souls and just level up the Ludwigs. Just, you know, just give up on the other thing. Okay, Ludwig's to wait. There it is. I can't undo it. It's done. Oh, it's back to scaling like B, B, and B. It's not ahead on strength again. I think Dex maybe catches up every other level. That's cool. Oh, there it is. Right. Um... Are you still there? Because then I'll show you the other level, if you're still here. It's pretty cool. You are, you are still here, cool. Let's see, i got to find where the teleporter is for it. I guess it's... No, it doesn't... it's not any of them, I don't think.
Uh oh. I'm struggling to remember where it is. Whoops. Uh, let's let's say it's Church of the Good Chalice. I'll give that a try. Yeah, I love Ludwig. This is better, but not Ludwig the boss. He's he's a horse, and I will defeat him. Nah, this isn't the place. It's the only problem with, like, these lists. I don't really know where the other place is. It's not Graveyard of the Dark Beast. Upper Cathedral Ward? Yeah, this might be it. This might be it. So, okay, you come out the, the, the Church of Odeon, and then you head up that tower nearby that's the workshop that spirals up. And I, we recently went there because I found the spiral down. Yeah, here it is. Okay. And these are like the some of the first couple of enemies you meet here. The wind is up like crazy in this area. Oh, they've, they've spotted me. Ow. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of heading back to the entrance first. Huh, I guess the second one didn't spot me. Either that, or he just didn't want to fight. Oh, press too hard. It's not going to be an ambush. Now, don't you turn around after all this walking? Ah, you son of a. Oh, ow. I thought he was just going to do, like, the forwards attack, but he didn't. He did, like, some kind of arcane explosion. Right, we're almost there at the beginning. Do a full walkthrough. Right, so this is the top of the tower where the door had been locked. But I finally found the key. This is the guy with the flamethrower that rushes this room, and you're all like, Oh no, I'm burning, but you, you just stab him. So finally, unlock this. Found the key in the nightmare of the insane asylum. And this is the first enemy you see. This crazy little squiggly worm guy. But you dispatch him quickly and, and he's done with. Some of the visuals are kind of cool off the top of here. You can see earlier parts of the level. Like especially up here you can see the church where Vicar Amalia was. The wind really whips up. I don't seem to go backwards across to the, the roof of the Odeon Church. But uh, that's the graveyard where the two gigantic guys are circling around. And then you fight the way up these stairs. And there's the two guys with like the, the logs that try and get you out the front of the church. There we go. That's the stairways that the two guys with the logs are. If you turn down the left road that heads towards Patches, if you turn down the right hand road that heads off towards the uh, the forest. Yeah, I, I love that kind of stuff where you can see other parts of the level. And then that's the rest of the stairway that goes up and into there to fight Vicar Amalia. Yes! Elden Ring has much better draw distance on some of these things. Like, you can see a little bit of like, there's even holes in the textures there. Like, the roof of the place above my head is kind of floating the top of the tower, and you can kind of see through it and behind it. So it's 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 a little bit oof. But, uh, yeah, and, and the gate's down at the moment, whereas the gate should actually really be up. So you head along, there's more of the little squiggly guys see a cool bridge that heads back to the top of the, the roof of the church that we just defeated the vicar in. And I think we're going to go there next, because I've only done a part of this level. Oh, thank god the wind stopped whipping up. So this door is initially shut. And uh, there's all these guys. But they're all trying to get to a certain spot over there where they're heading towards. 
they're not really interested in you and they all start kind of praying in the direction of the top of the church we loot some gear that's called the choir gear and we find out that the people at the head of the healing church are kind of called the choir as a group but there they are they're just kind of spookily looking up towards the top you head this way instead because it's the only way you can really go I think there's a bit of loot down the bottom there and a couple of crows with really high health but we'll ignore them for now and you're faced with the scythe man his scythe is super enchanted quickly dispatch this fella oh and then he, he does a wicked flip that was that was a wicked flip man I've never seen anything quite like it and we're we're back in the dark and against squid people Now you pretty much want your torch in here, because it's nasty. And now we're playing Resident Evil. So there's a window broken at the distance there, and that was completely and utterly solid, and we came in from that way. So there was no werewolves out there. You walk up to a door that you see on the left, and there's a squid person on the other side of the door, but you can't open it. You turn back around to start heading down this corridor again, and you just suddenly hear a breakage behind you of the glass. And that werewolf, a turbo werewolf, I might add, is behind you. I can't undo the scene and repair the glass, but... Yeah, things things aren't right with this guy. I didn't have the gun out, so I just kind of waved the torch at him, which was awful. But then it just keeps getting better. It is. Like, I was expecting crows to come rushing through the windows, but no. Bloodborne has werewolf jumps through the windows. It's nuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is another bit with the jo dogs to break through. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I just, I just remember those crows, man. Those crows used to scare the hell out of me. So you follow on up to this room you really need the torch like the little hand lantern let's give that a try there's like it's it's this is not good enough i mean it's something but it's not the the true safety of the torch now this room's a bit dreadful now because they just kind of rush you and it's it's, it's kind of awful you just get stuck on the bad side of it so i'm i'm going to run through a bit hopefully not aggro anyone no no here they are oh damn squid man here he hasn't detected me. Cool. Oh, they didn't count as a backstab? What a ripoff. Oh no! He's got the grapple! I hate this stupid grapple. Get off me! This is so this is so demon souls. Right, anyway. I guess that guy's gonna be noisy at the wall while I try and explain. But that room, this room here. It's a big open area, and there was all these chandeliers at the top. And you can kind of see and hear these silhouettes of four or five of these turbo werewolves jumping across the chandeliers, but eventually they give way and break, and they all come crashing to the floor. And you're stuck in that previous room, and just like all five of them aggro you, and it, it's crazy. I died. I died a lot. But yeah, you, you go around here, there's lots of loot on the floor, there's more squid people, and pretty much we ended up at the uh, the top here, and opening a door after getting the key off of one of them. I might try and sneak around the corner though, because they're, they're kind of nasty. They keep on getting me with that grapple. Easy does it. Oh, no, that one's seen me. Okay. Uh, hopefully they won't follow me. If they do, we'll, we'll dispatch them. You get out onto this, and this is as far as I've gotten. There's a skeleton man standing there, and we learn an emote that's like about summoning the uh, evil old god things. Oh, here we go. I don't feel guilty about this free kill. I hate these guys. Right, 
emote is called Make Contact. And I did try using it here, but like nothing nothing extra happened, but we we posing. Uh, and yeah, I kind of, I kind of, it was six o'clock, so we, no, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I thought this was going to be stairs that head more left. What happened? This can't be the end of the level. Maybe it's downstairs that there's a, there's another bit. Yeah, it totally does feel alien. I think I'm think I think I need to get downstairs, which is bad. Uh... Ooh, this isn't gonna be safe, but we're gonna we're gonna rush past the the oh uh oh oh hey an upgrade guy wow we killed him in one hit what the hell and he had no stuff on him yeah oh god oh god nope 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 there's poor Mr Chandelier run 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 I think there's yeah there's the stair left. I misremembered. Okay, we're gonna turn around and see how safe this is. I thought I put health regen on this weapon. That's weird. Can I? I can't look at the gems. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Huh. That's that's weird. I, I really thought I put health regen on this one. Come on. No, no big deal. Oh god. Oh, it's okay. He's, he's too he's too fat to get through the door. Right. So this is new content. We don't know what's going to happen up here. Oh, please don't be a dead end. Okay. Thanks. No way! Were we on, are we on this? I think we're on the, the bridge that goes between the two places. Whoa. No, I don't I don't want a hug. No hug. No nope. No hug. What can we see of this side? A lot of rocks. Music's really intense. It's just like a screeching, screeching sound. Huh. Plants. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Is this Rat Vanguard from Dark Souls 2 again? No. It, they didn't lose any health for that. Whoa. Oh, I hope there's no none of the caster ones. Two-hander on this is so much better than on the rifle spear. I, I swear. What even is this? They're respawning down the bomb. 
Wait, what? This... Th oh. Nah, -uh. This isn't how you do it. Can I... Can I just leave? Nope. I'm, I'm looking for clues. Desperately looking for clues. Destroy the plants? No. Whoa, is it there's a drop off. That's that's gonna get me in trouble if I just drop off. Wait, where did the drop-off go? I was there. Oh, oh. Nope. What is happening? Is there a specific plant I can I can destroy? And was it that one? It was not. Okay, um... Um... Break through the window? S uh, sort of! <laughs> Can't believe that worked. <laughs> Ish. Yeah, feel my massive cleave. Come on, just let me... No. Now you're alive. Get out of it. Oh, they've lost some health. They've lost some health. Wait, what? You just have to kill like four trillion of them? Hey, then. Off I go. Or, or maybe the health was lost when I damaged the, the glass? No, that's stupid. That can't be right. No. They still haven't lost any more. I'm I'm gonna try and keep an eye out on the the health bar, I guess. Wait, did their health just go back up a little bit? Oh, 180 just got dealt to them. Maybe all of them need to be dead at a certain, you know, point. Well, 128. 256. Oh, this guy. This guy's like a real guy. He's keeping it real. You. You are the pinwheel. Up, oh, up. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, it's easy to tell which one's the real one now. I then I'm gonna remove my lock on and find a position that I like. We're gonna fight on my terms.
Ow. Ow. Oh god, he's got a pretty good at swing speed. Ah, oh, his buddies still spawn in? Damn. Oh, he fell off. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, he's changed form. Is this even his final form? Oh, Ludwig is so cool. Oh, it's a caster one now. Oh, I don't like that. Nuh-uh. Oh, God. Still moving yet. Okay, get stamina, go for boss. Ow. Yeah. Fine. Reminds me of the underground people from Elden Ring. Yeah! The ones with the, like, the spears and whatnot, like the, the mud people. Oh, here we go. Ah, he's looking the wrong way, casting a spell. Silly wizard. Celestial em Emissary Trophy earned. Yeah! <laughs> I'm finding levels! Oh, we learned communion, we got a save point, we broke, like, a window, so I might have even have found, like, a, a secret level as well <laughs> because like maybe you're not supposed to just think oh I'll break the window to get out of this loop but I did that's the way that I think of things so that's weird I wonder if uh, the pod people are grown in the garden and these pods are like them so I wonder if they are plants and not actual regular guys that was freaky that was a weird stage a weird combat and a weird everything we got 40k souls, we can go spend, and then we'll, we'll come back through. We'll see how many health potions I'm on as well. Please be 20, and then I can just carry on playing. Yes! Yeah! Alright, was I out of money to upgrade before, and what's going on with that health regen I thought I had? Oh, okay. I didn't finish on the health regen one. I will put it on the rifle spear then, I guess. As the HP begins to recover two, we'll do that one instead of the one that's uh, one and some damage. Then I can swap to a health regen weapon. Fortify, I was out of chunks. It was chunks all along. Got two of the eyeball currency. So let's, let's see if we can buy anything new and fun. Okay, nothing new showed up on that menu. Or any of the other menus. Yeah, we can only buy the first two types of upgrade stone still. No new weapons. I think when you pick up the Hunter's Marks, that's what gives you new stuff on this list. 
really starting to think that's the case. I could buy the outfit for a goof. Nah, I think I'd prefer the level up. See how many stamina we can get for stamina. Welcome, what is? Very well, let me. See how many stamina we can get for endurance. That's what I meant to say. Three. It's still three, and I still do like stamina. I'm getting like really good fundamentals, health, and being able to move around. And then we're bringing up damage last. Because we're still killing bosses, we're still clearing content, even without massive damage. So I'm, ha I'm happy with it like this, to be honest. Farewell, good mate. So it's about 30k for a level up. This might be 30k, let's find out. How? Almost. Walking around with multiple extra levels in my pocket, and don't mind me. Some things never change. Welcome home. What is it? Very well, let me. Three again. Both level ups being three. It's almost unheard of. Usually I get a bit of three, a bit of two. Farewell, good mate. I think if I have 200 stamina, I'd be pretty happy. Be a pretty happy lad. So this is now the Lumen Lumen Flower Gardens. No way were we supposed to go here before Old Yarnum. Nah, 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 nah. It's just got to be an organizational thing. No chance. Alright, let's see what's behind the broken glass that I broke. I wonder if I have to pay the church back for their window that I smashed. I probably should. Maybe I'll leave like a little IOU sticker somewhere and like with my phone number on so they can contact me. Okay. Little slug dude. Hundred and thirty one souls gained. That was a strange first en oh no. I bet werewolves break in through all the windows. All beyond. The hell is that? One of the secret rites of the choir. Long ago, the healing church used phantasms to reach a lofty plane of darkness but failed to make contact with the outer reaches of the cosmos. I'd call that a good thing. The rite failed to achieve its intended purpose but instead created a small exploding star. Whoops! Made a small exploding star. <laughs> now a powerful part of the choir's arsenal. At times, failure is the mother of invention. And it's like a usable? And it uses seven Quicksilver bullets. And you need 40 arcane to be able to use it. All these things here use arcane. Oh, we're in Vicar uh, Amalia's church. There's the door. There's where she is in the cutscene. And there's the altar behind her. I think that's where I looted the password. It's so cool that we're upstairs from there. I wonder if there's a kick ladder. That'd be cool. I'd like that. Still not overly convinced there's not going to be werewolves smashing through. Whoa, pod person and a lever. And a caster pod person. 
Well, out of sight, out of mind. Safe. Okay, no, no, no kick down ladder. I'm a little bit upset. Let's, let's get this full. Bam! No cast. Seriously, no cast. Whoa! If it went up, that would be a cool lift. But there's a solid ceiling there, so this is going to go down to Amalia's church? No way! Or deeper. Oh my god, is that a dragon? What is going on down here? Three slugs? A dragon in the background? Maybe? And a summoning sign. Whoa, Damien Amensis again. He showed up as one of the optional people that I could take to Rom the spider. Alright, let's go check out what the uh, what, what's what's going on over here. That is totally a dragon. You can't tell me otherwise. Alright. Altar of Despair. Who's despair? Pro pro probably mine. Maybe it's a friend. 